Hi guys, okay, so we have a little bit of a hair change. It's like a purpley blue now. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, don't mind that. Today, we're gonna be doing a full face of the most expensive makeup I own. And we're gonna see, is it really worth it? Who knows, let's just test it out. Hair is up and y'all are scooted in. I have prices and products. Some of these I've played with, some of these I haven't. And, but let's just jump right into it. The first product is my, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I just have a sample of it, but this retails for $60. I like this stuff, but it's just like a moisturizer. I would not pay the $60 for this when the sample is gone. That's just my personal opinion. However, yeah, let's just apply some of this. Makes my skin feeling very hydrated. I do like it. I just wouldn't repurchase it for the full price. And then I'm going to spray my face with my setting spray that we're going to be using all video. And that is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this retails for $48. It's nice, but I do think the Milk um, Glow Mist, or not the Milk, the Pixie Glow Mist is uh, similar. It's a nice dupe for it. And then for foundation, I have the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation, and this retails for $40. And I really do like this foundation. It's a um, doe foot applicator, but a squeezy tube. I've done a whole review video on this. If you guys wanna see it, I'll have it linked to the top of the description box down below, but I'm just gonna apply this. Okay, foundation's on. I forgot how much I love this foundation. It is actually really nice, and I just forgot about it. And then concealer is my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one's $29, and I do actually really like this. It's full coverage, and you get a lot for the $29. This one is in shade Snow. This is the one in my Project Pan. It's a little dark, but I'm just going to use it to kind of like even out my under eyes, not really brighten them. And a little bit goes a long way, so I'm actually just going to go like this. And that's as much as I need. And then for loose setting powder for my under eyes, I've never tried this and I've had this for a long time. This is the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in translucent light. And this retails for $35. Now, I definitely think there are drugstore setting powders that do an amazing job. So personally, I don't see the need for high-end powders. However, I am definitely down to give it a try. This is what it looks like. And then you remove that. And it's got like this... Um, what kind of lid is this? So it opens like this, and then the powder's in there, and we're just gonna shake some out under the lid. Okay, we got some powder on the under eyes. Now, I do have to say, I did notice that the mixture of this powder and concealer combination is a little drying for my under eyes. However, the powder seems to be doing a good job. It is a little dark for a light powder, in my personal opinion. I am very fair-skinned, so. We are going to let that sit. We are going to let that sit. And then I'm going to go into my MAC Studio Fix powder in N5. And this retails for $31. And I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face just lightly. Okay, we have a nice light dusting all over the face. Let's see how we're looking. Ooh. Okay. I mean, under... Un, blah, blah, blah. Other than my under eyes looking a little dry, I like the way the rest of my face is sitting. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Let it, let's just spray my face together with the Tatcha just to kind of, you know, make sure it's all melted together nicely. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. Now for eyebrows, I have this iconic London Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. It's real, real dirty. And this is in medium, and it's just got like a cushion eyebrow product, two colors. And this retails for $40. Yeah, no, I would never buy this again. I got this on a BoxyCharm. I like the product. It's, it's good. It's okay. Don't get me wrong. However, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this. I tend to normally prefer a pencil anyway. So this is just not the most practical for me. But I'm going to real quick do my eyebrows. Eyebrows are not looking the greatest at all. I have not used that product in so long and it's kind of drying up, but also like I forgot how to work with it. But these are the eyebrows. We're just gonna ignore them. Next, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. And the most expensive eyeshadow palette I have is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. And this is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. This is $65. And 
this is what it looks like. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. It gets a lot of love. If you're gonna get anything from her, get the smaller ones. Don't splurge for the big ones. This is what it looks like. And this is a very well-loved palette. I love orangey yellow shades. So kind of tried to match my headband today. We're just gonna play around and see what I come up with. Okay, you guys, eyes are done. I'm loving this. Um, we have a little bit of fallout right in here, but I'm just gonna try to take the same brush I powdered with and just try to like blend that out. But other than that, these shades blend nicely. I love this palette. I really truly do. However, I, I don't know. I haven't ran out and bought any more of her palettes just because of the price tag. I do love the formula though. I do recommend, like I said, if you want to get any Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, go with the smaller version. You still get a ton of product in them, and they are actually really nice. Okay, let's move on to bronzer. The bronzer I have is another mini. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer, and this retails for $40. I don't like this bronzer at all. I like, at all at all. So we're going to see how this goes on the skin I have going on. I love the base I have going on. This could very well mess it up. Every time I've used this bronzer, it just doesn't do anything for me and it just just doesn't look nice on my skin. So we'll see how this goes. Bronzer's on. I don't know. It just looks muddy on my skin. I don't I don't like it. I'm sorry, it's dumb. And then for blush, I'm actually really excited about these. They are the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duos. I have two different ones. I kind of want to take, let's see spiced cinnamon which they look like this and this is the shade Ooh, gorgeous i kind of want to do that but let's also see this one which is in mojave mauve no let's do pinky we're gonna take spiced cinnamon and blush up my cheeks i've never used these however i've used cover effects um uh, blushes before in like one of their palettes it was really nice and their bronzers are really nice so i'm excited to see how this works i'm gonna start with this shade and then maybe top it off a little bit with that one. Ooh, okay so we got some color payoff let's just and then let's just lightly you know apply oh that very very pigmented i went in with a little bit and i even knocked some off my brush that is pigmented oh my goodness i may have messed up can I get both sides done? No. Okay, hopefully that helped. Doesn't look as crazy. I do want to go over it with that topper though. Let's swatch it first. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's go over it with that topper, but I'm just gonna lightly, lightly dust my brush in. I don't know how much I like that highlighter portion of it, however. Okay, so the blush, I have to go on really light-handed with. They're very intense. Did I even tell you how much they are? The blushes retail for $38. Yeah. I love them. I just think they're really, really, really pigmented. So you have to go in really light handed, which is not always my favorite. However, it's okay. Okay, and then highlighter. Now, the highlighter I have is a hourglass highlighter and it's a cream. Probably should have went in with the powder first. So this is the hourglass rose gold flash highlighter. Um, I don't know how well this is going to apply over powder. It also looks a little dark. But we're just going to, I guess, take... Um, I'm going to try it first from the back of my hand to my face. And then we'll see how that goes. I don't want to go in too, you know, crazy with it. Um, can I just, like... Okay. I mean, I see it. Do you see that? I just took what was on the back of my hand and then just pressed it into my skin. 
no highlighter highlighter you can kind of see it let's let's try to just take the stick and just stamp it and then blend it out so that didn't work i can see where i stamped it let's take my finger and try to like warm it up putting it right on my face over powder is not the best let's take my finger on the other side and try to press it in i like that a lot better I, so far i think i like my finger the best and the shade doesn't look to be terribly too dark maybe just a little it's so pretty though i love the way my skin looks right now i have like that almost you know that very highlighted summery glowy look going on i love it the only thing left is mascara and lips so for lips you guys i don't have a very expensive lip product that matches the eye look so it's gonna be a problem let's start with lip liner the most expensive lip liner i own is huda beauty and these are 19 dollars i have these shades let's see the only the most expensive lip product i own is by estee lauder and it retails for 32 dollars for a lipstick however the shade of this lipstick doesn't quite match the look we have going today i'm sorry what so we're gonna kind of play with it i think that would most you know i could probably get away with this lip combination let's let's swatch the other one just to make sure yeah i definitely think that's the lip combination so we're gonna take gossip girl and this estee lauder jealous pure lip envy and try to make something work it's not gonna match the eye look but we'll see okay so i've applied the lip liner all over my lips and then just dotted the estee lauder lipstick on and i think we can make that work um it doesn't match but it's gonna have to do and then for mascara i have a sample of the pat mcgrath labs fetish eyes mascara a full size of this retails for 30 dollars for a mascara Y'all already know, I'm not even going to say it. My rant with mascara kind of hurt my soul to rip into. However, let's pull this out and see. So it just looks like this, just a standard sample size mascara. And the wand is just your standard kind of like bushy wand. We're just going to apply this and see what it does for my lashes. It better do something. It better do something great for $30. So this is the mascara on one eye and not on the other. It gave, I actually like it. It gave a nice amount of volume and length. It's good. It's not my favorite. However, it's it's nice. I might recurl my lashes after I'm done. I tend to tr do that because my lashes don't hold, hold a curl very well. Um, I could do with a little more volume. However, I don't mind it. Okay, guys. Um, mascara is on. I like it. It's. I mean, it, it's really, really nice. Like I said, I'm going to curl my lashes again after this dry. But so far, this is it. You guys, let me know what you guys think down below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions overall. I do think some of these products are worth it. Like, you know, the foundation, for instance, is one of my favorite. I love this. Definitely worth it. Blushes are really, really nice. Um, you know, oh, that's a little bit. Other than that, oh, this eyeshadow palette. Yes, please. Other than that, you guys, I think you can find a lot of good drugstore alternatives. You don't need to spend the money. This is just a fun video to play with the most expensive makeup I own. I've done this with other categories. I've done the least expensive makeup I own. I've done the oldest makeup I own. If you guys want to see maybe like the newest, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, but that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.